this is really difficult to talk about, but I need to speak from the heart today because some of you know that over the last year I've been dealing with a couple of personal tragedies and mixed up with all those emotions and the devastation and the loss, I have found a silver lining and I've also discovered some valuable business lessons in there as well. And I want to share one of those lessons with you today because you see, you guys, you got me through some of the most painful times in my life and I'm just about ready to talk about it now, but more importantly, I'm able to say thank you to you. Thank you for being there when my entire world fell apart, not just once, but twice. So thank you for the love and the support that you gave me, because until very recently, just knowing that I wanted to show up and create these videos for you, well, honestly, that was the only thing that got me out of bed some mornings. So for that reason, I want to give something back to you. I want to tell you what I've learned and how you can use the most painful time in my life to build a better, stronger business for you and your family. Because I really do want your website to become a massive success. I want you to achieve what you want to. I want you to get the income, the lifestyle, the freedom, everything, all the luxury that you deserve. It is possible, I know how within your reach it really is. But you see, there's something that you have to know. If you are going to achieve that, you have to know that there are going to be times in your business when things get tough. There are going to be challenging times. And it might be at the, the very beginning of your business, when you first start, or it might be when you try to scale the business or it might just come straight out of nowhere and hit you square in the face but the point is at some point things are going to get difficult and you need to know how to deal with it properly so your business is protected and listen I am speaking from experience here so I'll fill in the blanks I'll give you a little background info for anyone who hasn't seen all of my videos because in February of last year sadly my mum passed away and that absolutely shook my world it was completely unexpected and it was every bit as devastating as you can imagine and at the time I didn't know if I would be able to continue making videos for a while I didn't know if I'd be around or able to show up to do Profit Copilot. So I spoke about that in one video. And then, thankfully, thanks to the support that you gave me, that gave me the strength to carry on and making videos as normal. And I kept my grief private. But it was your support that carried me through that period. And as I was beginning to deal with the loss, around eight months later, in October of last year, my dad suddenly passed away too. He went to sleep one night and then he didn't wake up. And again, I spoke about it in one video one time and, and thanks to your support again, I was able to carry on as normal with Profit Copilot, but I'll be honest with you, I haven't felt normal since. And if you look at the videos from before that period to now, they do look very different because it's pretty obvious that I've moved home. But what I never told you was why I moved home. You see, my dad, he lived further down this street, just a few houses down. And every morning he would sit in his window he would drink coffee and he would work on his business and he would feel inspired by the amazing view of Morecambe Bay. And a couple of weeks after he passed, this place 
became available, so I saw it as an opportunity, and I moved here, so I could look out at the same bay, work on my business, feel inspired, and maybe feel a bit more connected to his memory. And okay, it might sound a little bit silly, but it helps. And the reason why I haven't spoke about this stuff before is because, well, the last time I mentioned anything about my parents passing, I got a series of very disturbing emails from some sick individuals. I'll show you a couple of the milder ones that I received so you can get a flavour of the type of abuse I was rece receiving from them. And I know, yeah, okay, this is the internet, so I should have expected it. And I am expecting to receive more of those kind of messages as a result of this video. And that's okay, because I'm going to have to allow myself to, to face that. I'm, I'm going to have to, to deal with that, because I'm not going to, to tolerate sick people allowing preventing me from being straight up with how I feel or or being directly honest with you guys about stuff so that ends so all the the abuse and the, the horrible emails they don't matter because it's you guys you you guys are what matters. But why am I telling you this anyway? Well, I think you need to know that even though you are going to have difficult periods that we're all going to go through, the fact that just knowing these exist can really mean the difference between success and failure we even have a name for them they're called dips and they happen all the time in every project and they're not always severe some are fairly mild usually they're, they're mild and the reason for these dips aren't that important because it's all about how you feel about the dip it's when you, you feel like you can't continue or you want to quit the project. It's the days when you feel like you don't have the motivation to show up and do the work. It's when you can't see the point in moving forward with your business. And it can be for any reason, but it's usually because you're not getting the results that you expected in the amount of time that you expected to get those results. So... For that reason, being able to separate your emotions from your business decisions is, I believe, a vital skill to learn if you want to succeed online. And I will tell you how to do it. But the thing is, the dip, that doesn't happen just once. There are multiple dips. And... There's always one just around the corner, and it is usually mild. I mean, let me give you an example. Let's say you're making $100 a day consistently online. But then one day you wake up and you've only made $50. Now that can be a dip for you. Or if Google changes the algorithm and your website suffers as a result, now that can be another dip. Or if someone leaves a nasty comment on your blog and you take it to heart, that can be a dip too. And that's why success isn't a straight line. You know that there are these ups and downs, ups and downs, peaks and valleys. You know that, <laughs> well, once you know to expect them, it can change everything because you're prepared and you know that you're able to push through these dips but how do you climb out okay it sounds simple but don't mistake simple for easy
Okay, the answer is by just refusing to give up. And it is as simple as that. But what that really means is you keep working. You focus on the work and you stop focusing on the results. Let me say that again, because when you stop focusing on the results, they don't mean as much. When you focus on doing the work, then that, that dominates your thoughts. You don't really have the time to think about the results or whether it's working or not. You just have to have faith in yourself and in your own abilities to succeed. And I know you can do that. I know you can succeed. How do I know that you can? Because you're here for a start. You're on Profit Copilot, so you obviously have the desire to succeed. And all you have to do now is put in the work. And yeah, it's hard sometimes, and okay, it's going to get even harder to not let your emotions rule business decisions. But if we only ever listened to our emotions, then we'd end up in this kind of endless cycle of stopping and starting and stopping and starting and let me ask you something okay be honest with yourself have you ever done this okay have you ever bought an ebook or a course or something or coaching that would help you to build your business and how did you feel when you got that i bet you felt excited right i bet you thought about all the possibilities that you could achieve you probably thought about the wealth that you could make, the lifestyle, the comfort, maybe even the pride of your friends and family. Maybe even you thought about the shocked faces of the people who doubted you when they see your success, when they see your new car, your amazing new home, or whatever it is success represents to you. So how did you feel? I bet you couldn't wait to get started on building your business. But what happened? I'm going to bet that things didn't go according to plan. I'm going to bet that you thought it was more difficult than you expected it to be. And I'm going to bet that nobody told you that it was going to be like this. So what happened? You probably had doubts. Maybe you started to second guess yourself. Maybe you weren't sure if you'd chosen the right business model or the right niche or if you got the right training. And then you started to worry. Maybe you thought that you'd made a terrible mistake. And then what happened? You stopped. You gave up. And then you started to look for something else. And then the cycle started all over again. But what happens when you keep doing that? Well, nothing happens. You never get anywhere. So, today, you and I, let's make a decision. Let's make a promise. Today, let's break that cycle. Let's put all those old behaviours to one side because let's say today, right now, today is the time for a fresh start. It's time to wipe the slate clean. So let's fix this for once and for all. And let's fix it so you can succeed and you get that success that you truly deserve. Because you see, most people, and I know you're not like most people, so you need to know this. Most people will only ever work on their business when they feel motivated to do it. But there's a fallacy here because motivation is not your friend. Motivation, it lies to you, it deceives you, it tricks you into thinking that it's okay to procrastinate. It wants you to feel comfortable. And you and I both know that to really grow a successful business... You need to step outside of your comfort zone.
because this thing is a slog. It's a difficult, it's a slow path. And if we only ever do it during the times when we feel motivated, then we're robbing ourselves, our future selves, of the success that we deserve. So, what is the answer? How do you feel? How, how do you... How do you... How do you stop it? How do you make sure that you're no longer just waiting for motivation to show up? How do you build your business during the times when you don't even want to be there? On the days you don't want to show up, when it's difficult to get out of bed and do the work? I'll give you the answer, but you have to know it's not easy. And the next time you feel like you don't have the motivation, I give you my permission to use my story that I just told you at the beginning about my parents, if it helps you. If it helps you, you can think of that story and tell yourself, hey, if Mick can get up and do the work and show up and make videos for me during the worst possible time in his life, then surely I can get up and do an hour's work. So if it helps you, use that story and then maybe you can focus and knuckle down and do the work because the answer the answer is called discipline because discipline that doesn't care how you feel it doesn't care if you want to do the work or not. Discipline isn't waiting around for you to feel motivated. Discipline is going to grab you by the scruff of your neck. It's going to drag you out of bed. It's going to make you get up. It's going to make you sit down. It's going to force you to do the work. Discipline is what's going to build your business. Discipline will make you a success. Discipline is your friend, but not everybody has discipline. So how do you get it? Again, it's pretty simple. So you have to know what you want. Then you have to know why you want it. So let's say maybe you want to fire your boss. Maybe you want to quit your job. Maybe you want a life of abundance and freedom and security. Maybe you only want to work at the hours you choose from any location you like. Maybe you want to be seen as a good provider by your family and you want them to feel proud of you. Whatever it is for you is up to you. But you need to get clear about it. You need to know what you want and why you want it. And then... You need to create time. So you, you create a block of time that you are going to work on your business. Start with an hour and then build up as you go. But you need to remove distractions from that hour. So only check email, social media, all that stuff outside of your work time. And then set small, achievable little tasks that create easy, win, easy wins for you. So little victories that you can celebrate. And then when you've done those, add more and more. and Keep going and add more the next day. Because there's a very famous quote, and I can't remember who said it. It is 80% of success is just showing up. And I found that to be true for myself. So eventually, when you stick with it and you put in the work and you put in enough work for long enough, at some point, you're going to look back and you're going to be amazed to see just how far you've come. I mean, let's say, let's say we travel to next year, this time next year. Things might look a little bit different for you because you're going to be a lot closer to that success that you and your family deserve. And in two years' time, your entire life might look completely different in five years time 10 years time and listen that year that two year is going to pass anyway 
time is probably going to go a lot faster than you expect it to, so you may as well do the work, right? And I know you want to succeed. I know you want to do the work and I want you to get it. I want you to fire your boss. I want you to, to stop using an alarm clock every morning. That drove me crazy when I was working. I hated the alarm clock. And I want you to live your life on your terms and nobody else's. And you can get it if you knuckle down and you do the work. But if you don't know where to start, or maybe if you're feeling confused about which direction to take with this stuff, or if you've been trying to make sense of things for a while and it's just never clicked into place for you, then I've got something that I believe is going to help you. I know it's going to give you enormous value because it's the exact blueprint, it's the exact case study of how one of my students went full time in his first 180 days. So in his first six months, he made over £40,000 online. Now, of course, he is the exception to the rule. But if you want to see how he did it, I'll give you the full case study for free when you go to profitcopilot.com slash 180. Okay, and if you found this useful in any way, let me know. You know, hit the thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you're new here and you want more of these kind of videos and hit the little so, the little uh, notification bell as well so you never miss an update and thank you, thank you for everything, take care.